Hi everybody, Sumkid98 here, and welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a texture pack for Minecraft. So, if you don't know what texture packs are, they basically change how the game looks. So, in this screen here, this is a screenshot taken from my home, from my world, or whatever you want to call it. And with the texture pack, it would all look different. So, yeah. Let, before we get started, you'll need two things. One is WinRAR, or 7-Zip. My choice is WinRAR. I'll have the link for WinRAR in the description down below. And possibly 7-Zip. And Paint.net, or some other um, photo editing software. I wouldn't suggest Paint or Photoshop, because Paint you can't have, um, well, don't use Paint, and don't use Photoshop, because it's very hard to undo stuff, and yeah, unless you're very familiar with Photoshop, I wouldn't use it. So let's get started. First, you want to make a new folder called, uh, Whatever you want, I'm just going to call it Some Kid Pack. And then you want to open that folder, drag it all the way to the right or left, and minimize it. Then you want to go to into start and type in percent app data percent. Click on roaming, dot minecraft, bin, and then find your minecraft.jar, right click it, and then go open with WinRAR archiver. And I'm flashing for some reason. Close that. This is why you need WinRAR. So now, you want to hit control, click the top one, then you want to go achievement, armor, art, environment, GUI, item, lang, mob, terrain, title. While still pressing control, scroll down to the very bottom and go up. Till you find T. Here it is. TMI. You want to click that as well. Terrain. And there'll be also that says, uh, wait, no, it's done in P, isn't it? or up in P. Then you want to go pack particles and pack. Now you want to open this file back up. Click this again while still pressing control and whichever one you click on unclick or click again and you while still pressing control drag and drop these into your text pack folder. Now, once you've got this, you can close minecraft.jar folder, zoom in on this, and then this is all the editable things you can have, so armor, art, so this is like the paintings and the painting backgrounds you have, so yeah, uh, environment, GUI, which is like the screens you see. So, 
icons, inventory, and items are most likely the ones you're going to be editing. Uh, item.png is... I wouldn't really mess with that. Lang, don't touch that. Mob is all the creepers and skeletons and ghasts and ender dragon and villagers have a few. Terrain, I wouldn't touch that. And title. Uh, they're just um, things you, yeah, like Mojang, you can change that and never heard of this one. Oh yeah, I'll tell you that one. So yeah, um, the main one we're going to be messing with is terrain.png, and yeah, so this is the terrain.png, and this is basically all the blocks you see in the world. So you want to right click that, open with paint.net or whichever uh, photo editor you chose. Paint.net gives you this cool um, setup like this. So then you want to zoom in. Uh, to where you want to change. So I might only change the ores, uh, stone, and maybe cobblestone. So I'll show you how to change them. I'm just going to make very simple textures. So what you want to do is either choose a color or select a color for, that's already there. Zoom as far in as you can on the actual item. Now be careful, these textures are exactly next to each other and this one here is the um, biome grass and this one here is stone, so you've got to be careful of that. So you want to either select your color or go to here and select um, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, the eyedropper tool, <laughs> and I'm going to select that color, and then you want to press the pencil tool, now you can do this pixel by pixel if you want, but I'm going to go as quickly as I can, for demonstration purposes. You, you'd probably go a bit slower than this. Uh, yeah, so that's basically how you do it. And then I'm going to change a few more textures and I'll be right back as soon as I've finished and I'll show you what I've done. So see you in a sec. Alright guys, I'm back and all I did was change stone, the ores and glass. So now we're going to move over to the items.png and I've pre-zoomed in and I don't think I'm going to make any changes except I might put some blood on the end of the diamond sword or maybe the gold sword so I'll put some blood on maybe on both ends as well So yeah, that's all I'm going to do, then I'm going to save. Okay. Save. Okay. And I'm going to close. And now I've got my texture pack. I'm going to select all, right click, add to archive, zip. Okay, <clears throat> and I'll zip it all up, and then some kid pack dot zip would appear. Now you need to go percent app data percent roaming dot Minecraft bin. No, not bin. 
Built Minecraft texture packs, and I've already got a some kid pack here. So I'm gonna rename this to some kid pack two. So now you want to bring up your texture packs and drag and drop this into the texture pack folder. Then you can close all of this, start up Minecraft. If it would ever load. Log in. Oh, can play offline. For some reason it's not working this morning. Texture packs. Some kid pack two. Uh, go to my Minecraft tutorial world. Oh yeah, I was playing around with a mod and I got special effects on me somehow. So... I'll bring up too many items and I'll bring out a gold sword. And you see, it's got the blood on it. So... And the glass works, but somehow there's always that one little bit up the top. I don't know why. And if we go down to my mine, all the stone has been changed. I'm not the best texture pack person in the world, so this stone still has a little bit of derp on it. But the coal is completely non derped like I have suggested. So, yeah. That's how you make a texture pack for Minecraft. There's some mushrooms down there. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.